On the world of Zerf, in the fifth dimension, is a civilization with certain striking similarities to our own. For example, their language is very close to English, except for certain words that have no vowel sounds. On this world lives an impish, practical joking gentleman whom we can begin to overhear as he dictates his recorded diary. His name? Mr. Mix. Last time I went to Earth, I made everyone in Metropolis speak a different language. The time before, I made all the statues come alive and take over the city. The time before that, I gave everyone in town magical powers like mine. And Superman went bonkers trying to keep the whole coast from blowing off. But every time I showed up, old muscle brains managed to trick me into saying my name backwards and magically sending myself home to the fifth dimension. Ha! Those Earth rubes can barely say Nick took forward, let alone... Hey! There's an idea. Those lunkheads words are all peppered with vowels. A's and E's all over the place. I's, O's, U's in nearly every word they've got. What if they couldn't make those sounds anymore, eh? Wow, I'm off. Meanwhile, several dimensions away in Metropolis' fabulous Galaxy Communications building. I'd just like to see what you do to get out of this one, Clark Kent. We were both sitting in that helicopter yesterday when all of a sudden Superman swooped down from the sky to save the little girl falling from the building. I turned to see if you got a picture of it and... And lo and behold, I'm not in my seat. Right, Lois? And you know what I think that means. Oh, nonsense, Lois. There's a perfectly reasonable explanation. How long do you need to dream it up this time? No, I've got you dead to rights and... <gasps> Eep! Clark! Out the window! Tell Clark that plane's about to crash. What's wrong with me? Why do I sound funny? Excuse me, Oz. He why can I talk straight? Hey, what's going on? I, I meant to say, why can't I talk straight? For at the very moment, an out-of-control plane threatens to make Midtown Metropolis its landing strip, the pair of reporters find that their speech has been impaired. Nonetheless, Clark Kent darts down the hall to a storeroom. No time to trade quips with Lois about being tongue-tied together. This is a job for Superman. Up, up, and away flies the Man of Steel to catch the tumbling plane on his harder-than-steel shoulders without a wince. And the city, watching from below, breathes a mute sigh of relief as slowly, gradually, the plane is set on its own course without damage. The city is mute because no one, no one at all, can utter the sound of a vowel. Oh, that pilot got disoriented when instructions over his radio came in with no vowels. He lost control. What can I say? What words have no vowels? Why? Rhythm? Can't make a sentence out of those words. Wait, there's another word that has no vowels. And that's the word I'm betting is responsible for this mess. Mixed patork! Mixed patork! You rang, Soupy? <laughs> You bit ring, you ridiculous little creep. You bet I rang, you ridiculous little creep. <laughs> Are those the words you're looking for, physical one? What's the she did this mess anyway? Let me talk, will you? What's the idea of this mess anyway? Let me talk, will you? Oh, you want to talk, do you? Are you sure you have something to contribute to this conversation? You bet I do. You, hey, you magic me. I can talk. Very observant, locker room breath. You were saying... I was saying you're mad. Insane. Missing your marbles. You're the only opponent I've ever run into who's made me actually lose my temper. <laughs> More fun than daytime TV, hey, Soupy Baby? When are you going to give the vowels back to the rest of the people in town? <laughs> Not in the foreseeable future. Matter of fact, I was thinking of depriving the two of us pretty soon as well. No, you wouldn't. You wouldn't, would you? No, no, no! Mm, mm. Yes, yes, yes! Bye-bye! As the imp from the fifth dimension vanishes, his mischievous magic stays behind, and a tongue-tied city as well as its super-powered guardian have their hands full. Phew! Mixed the has been on Earth just a few hours, and already I've had to help the control tower at the airport by hand-carrying 17 planes to a landing before closing the runway. 
then I broke up 46 arguments that were turning into street fights because people couldn't make themselves understood. What next? Hey, Superman! Mixed patrol? He bit. There's a bank hold up at the first Metropolis Bank. Want to stop it? He says there's a bank hold up at the first Metropolis Bank. Want to stop it? You bet I want to stop it! As the Metropolis Marvel streaks to the scene at the bank across town... A small-time thug threatens already panicky people with a gun when... Whether or not he has the gift of speech, bullets still bounce harmlessly off the indestructible chest of a man of steel. And the would-be robber is momentarily rendered harmless to everyone else as well. Mix pickle? Mix pickle! For your... For your something... To... Superman says he figured something out right here in this bank. Will wonders never cease? There's no sentence can see with the rules. I told the imp there's one sentence I can say without vowels. And he's curious. I'll write it down for him. Akol tapoz yeksom. That's loaded with vowels. Soupy's gone crackers, and I'll prove it by showing him how this vowelless wonder sounds when I pronounce it without the vowels. Kul tapozixom. Hey, that's my name spelled backwards. My badge is gone, and I'm going to. I'll get back at you, you super creepo. You just wait. Superman, thank you. I can talk again! So can I. How can we ever thank you, Superman? That won't be necessary, ladies and gentlemen, but right now... I've got another job to do! And soon, at the Galaxy Building, Clark Kent and Lois Lane resume their long-standing argument. All right, Clark. I can buy the idea that you panicked and ran off when you thought you were losing your voice. That's what a lot of people did. But you still can't explain away your disappearance in the helicopter yesterday. Well, as I was about to explain, I ran to the back of the Whirlybird to see what was going on more clearly as Superman saved the little girl. Sure, I'll bet you saw it clearly. I'm supposed to believe that. Will you believe these photos? You didn't notice that your camera vanished at that moment, too. Does that mean the camera is secretly Superman, too? Pictures of Superman saving the falling child. You took these with my camera, Clark? Sure shooting. What I didn't say is that I set up the camera outside the copter and tripped the shutter with super breath from long distance. Clark, I don't know how you wheedle out of these things. I tell you what, Lois. Since it was your camera, you can put them in the Daily Planet under your own name. Maybe that'll teach you to be more trusting. Blinny. (laughs) 